This video is sponsored by EcoFlow. Hi everyone, hope you're having a great day and I'm having a great day today because DJI gave us probably one of the best Christmas presents that I will get this year. Waypoints is back. I haven't used Waypoints in a couple of years uh, since I had my Mavic 2 Pro and I'm so excited that they brought it and I think a lot of you that know what Waypoints are are gonna be excited as well. But this video is for those of you that don't know what Waypoints are and don't know how powerful it is and how fun it is to get cinematic content, how the different things that you can do with it. So I'm just gonna get started. We're gonna show you a tutorial on how to use the Waypoints on the Mavic 3 series. Hopefully they bring this to the other drones as well, uh, the Mini 3 Pro, maybe the Air 2S, but for now, we're just gonna have to stick with the uh, Mavic 3 and it's gonna be pretty much the same if they happen to bring it to the other drones. So even if you don't have a Mavic 3, this is a good tutorial for you. So I got the drone up in the air. I'm gonna show you one thing. For those of you that were have been here with the channel for a long time, you see that right there? That is the hospital complex that I started documenting four years ago, almost four years ago, and they finally have it done. It's gonna open here in a couple of months, I think March maybe. And um, so when I started that Waypoint experience, I did a couple tutorials on it with this hospital complex when they had just put up the first steel beams. I'll put a couple shots here up on the screen, but it's almost done now. I don't know why I didn't continue that uh, documentation. I think the biggest reason is they had a fire and they kind of were shut down for a few months. I kind of just gave up, but but it's done now. And I think what I'll do is when I'm done with this video, I'm gonna do another one and just show you guys what it looks like, um, you know, do like a point of interest type thing. But for now, I'm gonna do this area right here across the street, across the road, they have, uh, um, they're gonna build a whole new community here, a bunch of apartments and park, uh, ice skating rink, like all kinds of fun stuff. And so I'm gonna document the build here. I'm gonna be a little more reasonable. I might do it like once a month or something like that. But so this is how you use waypoints. You're gonna click on, the little sideways S here on the left-hand side of the screen. And then there's two ways that you can set your waypoints. Basically, you guys, waypoints allows you to set certain parameters at a certain location and then repeat that mission over and over again. So, and you can set the settings for a lot of different things. The GPS location, the altitude, the speed, the camera angle, the zoom, like so many different fun things that you can do with it. So to add your first waypoint, you're gonna click on the C1 button on the back of the controller or you can just hit the plus on the front of the screen here. Let me bring this back up. There we go. So there's my first waypoint. Now, if you want to fine tune what happens at this waypoint, you just click on that little icon with the number one on it. And here you can choose, okay, what happens? Well, the camera, I kind of wanted to start recording when it gets to that waypoint. That's our first location. I'm going to have the camera start recording. You can change the altitude here if you need to. Uh, I'm just going to leave it right where it's at, 243 feet. Um, you can change global speed. Um, if you want to change it on the first waypoint, you have to go to settings and here's where you can set the overall speed. So I'm going to just move that up to, let's go 14 miles per hour. Okay. And then let's go back to setting the individual waypoint parameters. You can set the heading of the drone. You can set the gimbal tilt. I'm just going to leave those. And you can also have the camera zoom in or zoom out right here. So that's pretty fun. And then also you can set the number of seconds uh, that you might want the drone to hover. So maybe you want to want it to sit very still if it takes a photo or something. Uh, you can have it hover. So so that's pretty fun. All right, let's go back to the settings here. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to um, strafe over to the right here, and I'm just going to get coverage. I'm going to put this, get this out of the way so I can see the road. I'm going to try to keep a relatively straight line, just following the road there at the bottom of the screen. And there you can see the um, they have the elevators done, and they have the parking garage done, and then throughout the winter, they're going to build the rest of it. So, so I'm going to stop right here. So that's... That looks pretty good. So I'm gonna hit C1 again. There we got two waypoints, okay? And then if you wanna change what happens there, you can do that again, or I'm gonna set one more waypoint. What I'm gonna do with this waypoint is I'm gonna come around to the east side of this. And so the camera's gonna point west. And we're gonna cross the road here. And then what I wanna do is I'm gonna just tilt the camera up just a little bit, like right there. And I'm gonna set that waypoint. So now I'm gonna set the um, flight settings. So I'm gonna click on next. I got my global speed set to 14 miles per hour. You can set what you want it to do when the mission is done. You can have it hover, return to home, land, or go back to that first waypoint. I'm just gonna have it hover. You can set what you want it to do if it loses signal. So let's say it, for some reason you lose signal, you can have it um, return to home hover, you can have it land right where it's at, or you can have it continue along 
on that waypoint mission. I don't recommend that one. That's kind of a safety issue. So I'm just going to have it return to home. Then you can set where you want this mission to start. So I'm going to have it start at the first one. That's the most logical one. And, and then I think we're pretty good there. Oh, one thing that I forgot is I'm going to go back here. I'm going to click on the three. And um, when it gets to the third point, I'm going to have the camera stop recording. Okay. So that way I don't have to do anything. Everything is automated. And then we're going to hit next and, and make sure everything's good. And then we're going to hit go. And then what's going to happen is the drone's going to, the, it's going to upload the mission to the drone. And then the drone's going to take the shortest route back to waypoint number one or whichever waypoint that you want it to start at. And so it's going to go to the altitude that you had it set to. And then it's going to go straight to that point and it's traveling at its maximum speed right now, 31 miles per hour. So it gets over there in a hurry. And then once it gets to that first waypoint, it's gonna start running the mission that I just programmed it to do. And while we're waiting for the Mavic 3 to run through its mission, let's talk about today's sponsor, EcoFlow. You guys, EcoFlow is a world leader in portable power. And they're having the biggest sale that they've ever had with up to 50% off for the holidays. They have a power solution for every situation that you can think of, from the super portable and compact River Mini that allows you to carry it in the smallest of places, all the way up to the Delta Max, which my family uses as a home backup monster. The newly released River 2 and Delta 2 series are the safest, longest lasting power stations on the market right now with a 10 year lifespan of daily use. That's incredible. I use EcoFlow for all my content creation on the go, as well as keeping my family safe in times of bad weather or unexpected power outages. And their solar panel lineup is unmatched. And most of those are majorly discounted right now as well. Our power grid here in the United States continues to be at risk from aging infrastructure to nefarious attacks and EcoFlow provides tremendous security for the unknown. So use the link in the video description to find the EcoFlow power station that fits your needs and your budget. All right, so the drone has just completed its mission. Awesome, that went pretty fast. And so what I wanna show you now is a couple more things. Number one, if you go ahead and click on the map view right here, and then I have it set to satellite view so I can get a better orientation of what's going on here. You can see on the map view, they don't even have the hospital here yet. Look at that, still grass. But um, you can see the waypoints there on the screen, right? Those little green circles, and then you can see the little arrow there that shows the direction that the gimbal is going to be pointing. Well, let's click on that. You can just tap on it on the screen, and then we can change the individual parameters for that waypoint. So let's say at waypoint number two, I want it to lower in altitude just a little bit. I'm going to go down to 180 feet. And then also, uh, I'm going to change the heading, okay, a little bit. So it's facing more, a little more to the west. Okay, a little more northwest there. Okay, and then what you can do is you can run that mission with those individual parameters from the map view as well. So that's pretty cool. Now, the last thing that I wanna show you is point of interest. And what the point of interest is, is you click POI right there. And let's say you want the camera gimbal to focus on a particular subject the entire time it runs through the mission. And so what you can do, you can do this with the map view. Um, it's kind of hard to do it right now. It's gonna have it focus on the elevator and it's not gonna work on the map view here. But um, let's see if I can do it. Okay, so there I did. That might work, I'm gonna try it. So you can tap on the screen or what you can do, you can navigate the drone to that particular location and then you can set a point of interest to that. You know, if you hover right over what you want it to uh, point at, you can set it that way too. But let's go ahead and tap on the screen here and we're going to have the camera so we don't want the camera pointing at 164 we want the camera pointing down a little bit maybe let's go i don't know 36 feet and we're going to link this to all three waypoints so one two and three or you can go ahead and up here click on select all or unselect all okay so now when you go back to the map view see if i can hide this here there we go now you can see the camera is pointing at each waypoint at that point of interest. Oop, I accidentally tapped on the screen there. Let's get rid of this one. Delete. Yes, there we go. So as you can see, you, um, you can set multiple um, points of interest. So you can have the camera pointing at one thing, one subject, and then when you go to the waypoint, you can have it gradually move to the next. It's really, really fun, the things that you can do with this. Okay, so let's, um, let's run this mission again. And this time I'm gonna speed it up. 
I'm just gonna do a, a, a time lapse of this and then I'll show you what the final product looks like uh, when it gets done. Didn't that turn out so nice? So you can make these, like I said, as simple or as complicated as you want. I'll put another example here at the end of the video of the hospital. I'm gonna do like a point of interest all the way around the hospital and just kind of compare it to that first time that I did it four years ago with the Mavic 2 Pro. I almost forgot to show you a couple of really important things. You can save your missions. You can save them, store them on your controller, and you can run them repeatedly. And that's the purpose of doing this really, is so you can get the same view, the same flight pattern, everything the exact same. And then you can do some pretty fun time lapses. All you have to do is click on that waypoints icon again, and then it's gonna ask you, do you wanna save and exit? Do you wanna exit without saving? Or do you wanna just cancel and keep going? So I'm gonna hit save and exit, okay? And then when you go in there again next time, all you have to do is when you set your waypoints, see this little icon over here? Looks like a little worksheet or whatever word pad, click on that and that's gonna bring up your saved missions, okay? So right there's the saved mission, you can name it, you can change the name to whatever you want it to be. So that's pretty cool. The other thing that's probably important, I don't recommend it, but it's kind of convenient. You can set these waypoint missions offsite. So you can pull up your maps, um, you know, start your controller, start your drone, and you can set a waypoint mission, you know, at home and then drive to the location and then run that waypoint mission from that saved mission. So, you know, let's say we wanted to start a new one here at home. All right, and I'm gonna move this out of the way. Darn it. Okay, so let's pretend I'm not on site right now. And what you can do is you can just tap on the screen, that's gonna set a waypoint. Tap on the screen, waypoint, tap on the screen, just like that, okay? So you can do this at home. Then you can set the individual parameters as well. You can set all those, settings you can set the altitude the speed you can change the heading the gimbal tilt all that stuff then all you have to do is drive out to the location launch your drone upload that mission and run it so very very convenient but i'm one that likes to see where i'm at especially if i'm not familiar with the area you know i want to make sure that everything is safe and everything is going to be done you know properly so there is a use for this you know for doing it ahead of time but i highly recommend just going to the location and doing it on site. So anyway, I had to be sure to show you that because uh, those are a couple important things. This is, in my opinion anyway, the best intelligent flight mode that DJI has ever come out with. And a lot of people were waiting for this. A lot of people were complaining on the forums that are they ever gonna bring it back? I doubt it because DJI Fly app is not capable. Guess what? It is, and it's really, really cool. So if you have a Mavic 3, use it, go out and use it. Put it up on YouTube, like upload it, create a YouTube channel if you don't have one, upload it, and then share your link down in the comments because I want to see the kind of creativity that you guys can do with this intelligent flight mode, with waypoints. It's so, so fun. And if you don't have a Mavic 3, just be patient. I really, really hope they bring it to some of the other drones. I don't know why they wouldn't. I don't, I don't have all the information available to me of why it could be or couldn't be possible, but I would expect that it could be. So... Anyway, thanks again to EcoFlow for sponsoring this video. Thanks for watching, you guys. I really appreciate it. And uh, follow me on social media, too. I'm having a lot of fun over there on TikTok and Instagram and Twitter. And if those aren't your thing, whatever. Subscribe here and just follow me on here as well. So have a great day. Have a happy holidays, everyone. And as always, fly safe and fly smart. <music>